Is the church open? Oh, yes, it's open. When we get to Hedgley Green, I've got a ghost story to tell you. I'm glad I wore my wellies today. Hello, thank you for joining me on this winter's day. I'm in the Buckinghamshire village of Hedgley. As you can see, it's quite cold. The pond is frozen over. Today is the first of a new series of videos I'm going to do called Classic Villages of England. I'm going to go to a village like this, have a look around the village, perhaps go for a walk around some of the surrounding footpaths and see what there is. So before we get on and explore Hedgley, I just want to say if you do like my videos, please do like them, share them, comment and subscribe. That all really helps the channel. Now, Hedgley is where we are today. We're down by the village pond. There's a few ducks there on the non-frozen part of the pond. Some cottages, they're called the Dean Cottages on the other side. Up on the hill over there, just hiding in the trees, is the Church of St Mary the Virgin. We're going to walk up there and have a look. I'm not sure at this stage if we're going to get inside, but we'll certainly go up to the church and have a look. To give you an idea of where we are, we are in Buckinghamshire, but we're right down in the southern corner of Buckinghamshire. If you follow the road up that way, a couple of miles or so, you come to Giles Cross. And if you go down the road that way, you'll go to Stoke Poges first and then eventually Slough. So that's where we are in Buckinghamshire. What we're going to do, we'll walk up, as I said, through the village. Now the village dates back to Roman times. If, if I followed the road up that way, I'll eventually come to Moat Farm, which is just by the motorway. And it's said that there's a Roman brick making kiln there. So the village's traditional industry was making bricks. Now if you have a look at this building here, this is the old schoolhouse. Imagine that would have been the school, it's probably where the headmaster may have lived. Not a school anymore, the village is probably a bit small to have a school. But I'm going to take a guess, those bricks were probably fired here in Hedgley. So that's, the, that's what Hedgley was famous for, brick making. In Box Tunnel on the Great Western Railway, down near Bath, Brunel used Hedgley bricks for his box tunnel. So that gives you an idea of the quality of the bricks. As we walk up here, there's a larder park there. I wonder who, did, who put that there. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that that is my larder, which I drive around the country in. It's always good fun going out for a drive in a rare car, such as a larder. Here is the White Horse pub. That is a really good pub. I have been there in the past and there's all sorts of interesting ales and beers and it's really nice. It's got two halves. So it's just, you've got to go in there. I'm not going to go and have a drink today, but it really is worth going in there. I'm going to go up there now, up and have a look at the church. Found another frozen pond and just down there, that's the pond where we started. And here is the church of St Mary the Virgin. Now I wonder if it's open, we'll go up here and have a look. If it is open, I'll be interested to see. It always, to me, you go to a village like this, always makes the visit more exciting. If you can have, have a look in the church, excuse me man, I'm just trying to close the gate whilst holding camera. That's what I was doing, just wanted to secure the gate. We now come up into the churchyard. It's a very nice setting for this church up here on the hill of the churchyard. I don't know if you can hear it, I can just hear a faint noise of the motorway, that's not too far away. There's various woodlands around here, I'm intending to walk around some of those woodlands in the church. Let's have a look. Is the church open, is the main question. I'm going to take my hat off in anticipation, sorry about the hat here, because uh, men aren't supposed to wear hats in church, I always take my hat off. Is the church open? Oh, yes, it's open. Uh, let's have a look, to make sure nothing's going on. No, I think I've got it to myself. So we can have, have a look inside. So here we are, the Church of St Mary the Virgin. I understand the church was built in 1852, so it's probably not the original church on the site. There's obviously been various other churches here, looking up the nave behind me. I'm not going to go in there, but that's probably where the vestry is. One thing I interesting thing I've heard about this church is that... Um, King Charles II visited and he saw the altar and thought it was in a bit of a, a bad state and needed replacing. So it's alleged that he took off his cloak and placed it over the altar. So I don't think this is probably the same cloak from King Charles II. But interesting story to think that King Charles II has been here. Maybe that's the vestry in there. And here we have 
don't know too much about church organs, but here's the, the church organ. So that's, that's good with now to have a look in the parish church. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back out into the churchyard and we'll walk through the woods. I thought we'll walk up to Hedgley Green, which is like, it's another a hamlet just outside Hedgley, probably about half a mile or so away. Path up from Hedgley to Hedgley Green has that feeling of being an ancient drover's track. I can imagine in years gone by animals would have been driven along here, going from Hedgley, maybe heading towards Chalfon St Peter. Charles Cross wouldn't have been there at the time. I'm going to continue on here. We'll soon be at Hedgley Green. When we get to Hedgley Green, I've got a ghost story to tell you. So after walking half a mile or so, I've arrived at the hamlet of Hedgley Green. It really is a very green place. A few houses dotted around. There's a pond here. There's a pond there. And there's a pond there. So there's quite a few ponds up here and we are up on a hill. So it's quite nice to see this amount of water up here. And as they were down the hill at Hedgley, they are on the whole frozen. This one's not quite so frozen. Perhaps it's a bit better sheltered than the other one. Now up here, now I have a ghost story to tell you. Down the hill from here, beyond the village of Hedgley, there was a country estate called Hedgley Park. Now I understand the house was demolished in the 1930s, so that's all gone. But th there is a stream and a few lakes. I did once walk down through there and I have seen the lakes. I'm not going to go there today, it's a little bit further out the way. But up here somewhere, there was a little gamekeeper's cottage for the house. Now in the um, late 18th century, I understand an elderly lady lived there and unfortunately, some men came and murdered her. They were body snatchers, so they murdered her, took her body away. Then, you know, it's all very sad and everything, but times move on. A family moves into the house. Well, various families have moved into the house since. It was in the 1940s. A little girl was put to bed one night and uh, the next morning she asked her mother who this old lady was. A nice old lady came and tucked her into bed. It seemed a bit of a mystery. They did research and previous families have said, oh yeah, she, she does come and she tucks our children into bed. So it's said that that poor old lady is still in one of these cottages and if you've got children, yeah, she's a nice ghost, not, not a nasty one. She'll come and tuck them into bed. So that's uh, somewhere around here. I'm going to continue down here. I've not been this way before. I don't know how, if you can hear the motorway. I find, I say this in videos, I can hear a noise like, say, a motorway, and it's not actually as clear to my viewers. But over on the other side of the motorway is Bullstrode Park. Now, that was the house of Judge Jeffries, so give you an idea what that was. It'd be a great place to go and look around, but it was all derelict. I used to go and play there as a child, when it used to, or a teenager, when it was owned by WEC International. As I mentioned in a previous video, I used to go to the youth club up at Goldfield Baptist Church in Chalfont St Peter and we used to quite often go up there and play in their grounds. It was great fun. So it's all derelict, or, it's, or it was derelict. It's been worked on and was been restored. I'm not really quite sure what's going on. If anyone knows what's going on over on the other side of the motorway at Bullstrow Park, please comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to continue this way and do a circuit and end up back in Hedgley Village Centre. I'm glad I wore my wellies today. It really is quite muddy in some places, despite the fact in other places the mud is a bit frozen. I kept mentioning we've been near the um, 40 motorway. You probably can now see it is just over there. So I'm going to continue on down here, down to this little valley, and then I'll be able to walk on back towards the village of Hedgley. One other thing, going back to the Roman times, if you were to follow that valley, obviously before the motorway, up on the hill over there, there was a Roman fort. I have been for a walk around there in my video called Jarge Cross, A Walk Back in Time. If you'd like to see that, have a look at the link on the screen now. You'll be able to see that video. Let's go back to Hedgley now. Not too far now until I get back to Hedgley. I've just been following the line of those pylons along here. We come to another junction of the path. There's a nature reserve there, which you can go and walk around. There's also another path that goes that way. now. 
goes off into the woods over there. I mentioned Hedgley Park that doesn't exist anymore, where you know I said the cottage was part of the estate. This would have probably all been the Hedgley Park estate once. Um, if you were to go up there, the footpath will eventually take you down to the lakes. So if you were to go down there, you'd come to those lakes. And if you kept going, you'll come to somewhere called the Pickeringe. Now that's an abandoned house. I did make a video there a few years ago. So if you want to see what that's about, have a look at the link on screen now. That's the Pickeringe. I'm going to continue up here because I am nearly back to where I started in Hedgley. So I'm going to follow this. We should soon be back at the pond. We've come full circle now. We're just approaching the village pond where we started. So we've had a nice little circular walk. It was probably two and a half miles maybe. I could have done a longer one and gone up by Ballstrow Park, but it's already four o'clock now. So an hour or so from now, it will be dark, um, which, you know, wouldn't be much fun doing this in the dark. It's interesting. I've noticed these signs saying circular walk. So maybe that's a walk for another day. But as we started, we are now back by the village pond hope you enjoyed this video as i said this is the first of a new series so i'm hoping to do more videos a bit like this all over england in the future so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the classic english village of hedgley in buckinghamshire goodbye